To play Winston, you really have to think like the king of the jungle. And that's easy for me because we have a lot in common. I'm not talking about how we've both evolved past throwing our own shit, or the fact that we use our feet to pick things up instead of our hands. No, I'm talking about how we're both scientists. I know we've all had that question in our life of, what would happen if a fully grown, genetically modified gorilla jumped on a 60-year-old woman and zapped her with a Tesla cannon? Well, my friends, the answer may shock you. Ooh. Now, I'm not saying I should be the next Mr. Beast, but what I am saying is that the government should give me your United States tax dollars to release a super smart genetically modified ape into a shopping mall to study the results for science. And that is what our buddy Winton here is all about. Above all else, Winton is a scientist, so when you play him, you have to think like your brain is the size of Jupiter. Complex word problems like, will jumping into a crowd of five people kill me should be an easy task for that nope. humongo brain of yours to figure out. I mean, I only know of one being in the universe that can take five five people at once, but that's besides the point. Instead of working harder, you have to play smarter. And to get smarter, you need an education, and I'm gonna educate you about his abilities. Superman ain't got shit on Grape Ape here. Winston can turn your bones to dust in an instant with his leap. I mean, what do you think would happen when the Cosmic Silverback jumps on your spine like a trampoline? You can also punch the ground so hard that it causes extra damage for a nice coup de burst. While its offensive capabilities are limitless, you can use it in the form of a utility ability as well. Jumping to take space from whatever idiot it is stupid enough to try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king of the jungle. However, if you try to throw hands and start to lose, you can use it to nope the fuck out of whatever dumb situation you put yourself in. Like I mentioned earlier, jumping into a crowd of peaceful protesters like a police officer isn't a good idea. But if you're going to do that, you're going to need protection. That protection is in the form of your bubble buddy. This 650 health biodome from the hit Call of Duty Zombies map Moon does exactly what a real biodome does, but on the battlefield. It helps you take that space and make it breathable. For example, if you dive onto this soldier on the high ground without a bubble, he's playing duck hunt with your two-ton corpse. However, if the same situation were to happen with a bubble, now he's it's the one barrel. running away like a scared little bitch. Or if Shadow the Hedgehog is trying to barrel snuff you like Old Yeller, without a bubble, you're starting to look like a pincushion for buckshot. But with a bubble, you can dance around and juke him out with those sweet articulate feet of yours. Learning how to bubble dance is an important part of playing Winston. And it's very complex, so they can't even put it in Fortnite. But the first step is to put the bubble down, and step two is to strafe around the shield like how all DPS players strafe against Winston who has auto aim. Like I want to know what goes through your head when you do that. With the bubble jump combo, you can do what I like to call soft diving, which is where you jump up onto that high ground and pop that bubble down and just chill in there, poking the enemy with your exposed electrical wires. And ah yes, another important tool in good old Winnie's kit is Tesla Cannon. With his Tesla Cannon, he has the power of the sun in the palm of his hand. Now Winston's primary fire isn't exactly 480 volts, so you might have to finish him with a little tappity tap if you know what I'm saying. Making it so you can present the touching electrical wire challenge to anyone within its range. Now if you try and do this challenge in real life, make sure you wrap yourself in tin foil to protect yourself from the outside elements. This is what OSHA recommends and approves. Break free from the simulation, my children. Break free. Can we get much and for those of you who haven't been made bacon yet, this arc of pure pain has a short range, so you're going to have to be close if you want to turn your opposition into a cherry 7-Eleven slushy. Is what I would say if this were Overwatch 1, baby! In Overwatch 2, they turned Winston into a sniper monkey. Hold right click, charge that baby up, and boom! Fried chicken from a distance. Far is no longer a problem for you anymore when you can just fry that bird. With all this cooking, it's starting to look and smell like a cracker barrel in here. Make them sorry they ever called you a damn dirty ape. And finally, you have his ultimate, the game. Fuck, when mom fuck. says it's time for you to get off the Xbox and let your little brother play, you go absolutely feral. Kind of like when mom says it's time to stop eating toilet paper, or when the IRS tries to make you pay taxes. If Mr. Beast doesn't have to pay taxes, why should I? Like, do we think billionaires like Hatsune Miku have to pay taxes? Why the fuck do I have to pay- after a talk with my lawyer and a scary IRS agent named William Armstrong, I have been informed that no amount of angry monkeys can beat the government. But what an angry monkey can beat is the fuck out of any idiot dumb enough to find themselves in a corner when you're all hooked up. His ultimate is very similar to his leap where if you're in any sort of trouble, you can just press Q and jump out of there. You can take pretty much anyone in the game and shake them like a newborn baby, giving them brain damage in the game and in real life. It's kind of like the time when DaBaby fought that 19-year-old in a Walmart. Like, look at these two 
fucking idiots up on the high ground? Do they think they can actually stop me? I'm the king of the jungle, for God's sake. Or this May here trying to run away. What do you think, some ice can stop him? In Overwatch canon, Winston punched so hard, he knocked a guy called Doomfist flat on his keister, and you think a wall of ice can stop him? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think so. Turns out turning into a 7 foot 3 semi truck will let you do things like hold the enemy and spawn, or paint your fists with their gray matter. So what have we learned today? I would say we learned how to revert back into our primal Andrew Tate looking crypto board ape trading Bugatti form, but Sigma is the topic of the next video. No, we learned that curiosity is a wonderful thing, that we need scientists in this world who are 2,000 pounds and eat peanut butter with their feet. They say curiosity killed the cat, but I say curiosity didn't kill the cat, no. Death comes at the hands of a giant fucking ape. <laughs>